After more than a year of meticulous planning, 7,000 ships and a quarter of a million men are ready. The Allied invasion of Nazi-occupied Europe is about to begin. The scale of D-Day is absolutely epic. It's the most extraordinary thing that's ever been undertaken in history. For years, archaeologists have studied the battle on land. But now, they're looking somewhere else. Marine archaeologists working with the French underwater unit, Drassum, are scanning 50 miles of coastline using the latest 3D technology. This is the largest continuous underwater mapping projects ever done for this particular uh, area. They've already discovered 300 military relics, many unknown to historians. That is really hard. It's really hard to tell what we're looking at. Scanned in forensic detail, this deep-sea treasure trove is transforming our understanding of the invasion. It's all still there in a way that actually it isn't on land, and we found some tremendously exciting things. Now, for the first time, we can use this data to unlock the secrets of D-Day by draining away the murky waters of the Normandy coast to reveal exactly what happened here. As the seas begin to empty, they uncover just some of the hundreds of wrecks, each with a story to tell. Target number one, an Allied destroyer, sunk before the landings even begin, her fate is one of D-Day's greatest mysteries. Twelve hundred Allied warships approach the Normandy coast. At 5.23 in the morning, they open fire. Catching the enemy unprepared and off guard. One can imagine the feelings of many of the Germans. It must have been sheer terror to have seen this huge fleet. Fire rains down on the five beaches the Allies have marked for invasion. Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword. A Norwegian destroyer called the Svenna is on the eastern flank. A crew of 219 are preparing to join the bombardment of the beaches. When suddenly, a massive explosion, and she's gone. How is the Svenna destroyed? While surrounded by over a thousand heavily armed warships. Data from the survey contains tantalizing details. Combining them with the latest computer visualization techniques means we can empty the Normandy coast and go looking for clues. As the water begins to drain away, a site lost for 75 years. Hundreds of tons of twisted and ruined metal. Shocking evidence of a huge explosion. The bow and stern are in one piece. But the midsection is shattered. What could have caused so much damage?